Hello and welcome to our next video. In this lesson, we're going to fix the errors that I had with the contact web solution that we deployed to App Harbor that were keeping me from getting connected to Facebook. So I looked at the web config and realized that the transformation isn't happening the way that I thought it was. So you can see here we have multiple app secrets, we have only one app ID, it's the wrong one, and ultimately the replace on that operation isn't working like I thought it would. That's also causing that URL information to pop up. So the description of the error on Facebook had nothing to do with what was happening. It was actually that I wasn't connecting to the right version. So what I did, the reason I found it, I went out and I set the test one to point to my App Harbor instance and it worked just fine. So I realized then that my App Harbor instance was pointing to test instead of production. So let's go ahead and fix this and then we'll need to go out to the Facebook and fix that as well. So web config here has these two. Now I'm gonna actually just move them up to the top. I don't wanna mess with the ones that are already there by default from the system. And so I want those two at the top and I'm gonna take both of them, I'm just gonna copy them. I'm gonna leave them in the web config file. I'm gonna to go to web release config and on my app settings here, I'm gonna place both of those in there and I'm going to say xdt transform equals remove. So the replace is not working, so I'm going to do a remove and insert rather than a replace. So I need to change these to insert. Now that should set my values to the correct app ID and app secret. So what I'm going to do is review the web config release preview here. And now what we see is the two originals go away and my two that I want come in. So now I'm pointing to the right app. So I need to, again, rescan my drive here. I'm gonna hit F5. And I just wanna bring these two in. And we'll do Control T for the that one, Control T for that one. We're gonna leave those MDF and LDF files out. So we're gonna say fixing web release config to transform for production settings. I'm going to commit that. We're going to push it out to our app harbor. Actually, we're going to push it out to our bit bucket. So I need to get my bit bucket open here. And we're doing this one. So we'll copy that URL, go back to here, our push directive, push to that URL. Now that will push it and cause it to rebuild on App Harbor. In the meantime, on my contact manager, when I was messing around, I added this product for Facebook login based on some things I found. I don't think we need that. And actually, I can't figure out how to delete it. So it's still showing up on mine, but I would not add that to yours. Uh, what we want to do is make sure that our settings are correct. Let's go back to contact manager test here. And so on contact manager test on my settings, I had set app Harbor as my domain and my site URL as contact web. Now I need to put this back to my localhost URL here and my app Harbor needs to go away. And so what I need to do is go back into here. Now you shouldn't have to do this because yours was already done. And while my stuff is building, this gives me a moment to go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go grab this local host here, and I'm gonna put that back in for my test. This just makes sure I stayed wired up to test and not to App Harbor. So App Harbor will not work unless it's working against production. And then I'm gonna go back to my App Harbor version or my production release here on the settings for that one on my app domains, appharb.com. And for my site URL, contact web, appharbor.com. Obviously, we're not on a secure shell, so I'll leave that off. So that should set that up. Now let's go look and see if our build is done. And it looks like it's done and deployed here. So let's go ahead and go to our application. And hopefully now, this will log in correctly against Facebook.
and we're in business. We have successfully authenticated with Facebook. Please enter a username. So it says email here. Uh, I'm just going to use a different username so we can prove we're on a different database. So I'm just going to use BL Gorman. Actually, let's just, just in case it has some sort of email authentication on there, I don't know if it does. Um, we'll just go at uh, some email or some site.com. We'll register that. And hello, Bill Gorman at some sites.com. So I should still be able to log in with my BL Gorman at gmail.com here. Would help if I could remember my password. There we go. <laughs> All right, so I logged in with blgorman at gmail.com. So we have that good to go. And what we can do is we can, you know, obviously we know we're working on App Harbor, so there's no local database. It has to have been connected correctly. And now we have our site deployed on the web. It does authenticate through Facebook. The good news is we didn't need to put the secure shell on it. We just need to make sure that we had our settings correct in the transformations. And now that we have that set up, we can connect to test and continue to work against tests with local data while we're developing. And then when we release it, it will just have the production data and the production connections on Facebook as well. But that wraps up our video on fixing up our solution so that it will deploy and work in release on App Harbor and be connected to Facebook for authentication as well as local authentication. Thank you very much. and We'll see you next time.